Hello Year 7. Uh, we're going to use this program called Onshape to draw uh, an example of a rebated butt joint. So uh, this is what we will end up with. You can see the rebate there. We can see our two pieces of timber and you can gather how they would fit together. So you should have watched the first two videos. Uh, the first one shows you how to sign up to Onshape. The second one uh, shows you a little bit about how to use it, how to view it, how to change views, etc. So if I click the on shape button, it'll bring me back to my main page. And what you're going to do is click create. And we're going to create a document. So click that. Uh, it's going to be called a rebated joint. And click OK. It will open up the document. Uh, the very first thing I'd like you to do is go up here and click share and you're going to share it to me. So in here where it says search names or emails, can you type this email address? martlaw at ncs.msw.edu.au and then just click share. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I can't share it with myself. So I'm just going to close that, but I want you guys to do that. And then as you do your work, I'll be able to see it on my computer. So when we first open up a new document, this is what we get. I spoke about the tools. I spoke about the timeline, the parts, and the tabs down the bottom. And this is our working area. Uh, there's the view cube over here. So first up, we're going to create a sketch. So up along the top, look for sketch and click that. And you get this little dialog box here. And the first thing it's asking you is where do you want to do your sketch? What sketch plane will you use? So we're going to use the front plane. So you can either click on the front plane, see how it highlights orange there, or you can click it over here. Either way, it'll do the same thing. So let's click that. And just to make our, uh, our drawing a bit easier to see and so we get less confused, let's turn off by clicking the eyeball, the origin, the top and the front and the right planes. And there's our sketch that stays there. And uh, I want you to right click on that sketch and go view normal to sketch plane. And that'll change the view so we're looking at it front on. Look for the rectangle, corner rectangle. That's what you're looking for along the top toolbars and click on it. Now, before you just go and draw a rectangle, uh, like you would normally, normally in a lot of other programs and things that you've probably used before, when you draw, you click your button, hold it down, move it, and then let go. CAD programs are a little bit different. What you tend, the best way to do it is click once, which will start the rectangle. Then you can move your cursor out. And when you're happy with the size of the rectangle, it doesn't matter yet, click again. So get in the habit of click once to start, click again to end. Now along the top toolbar, you're going to look for the dimension uh, tool. It looks like two little lines with arrows between them. So make sure if you hover over these things, they give you their names too. So you're looking for the dimension toolbar. So click it once. Now move your cursor down to the edge. As you hover near the edge, edges, they'll highlight orange. So make sure one of the edges highlights orange and click once. Move your cursor up and click again. That'll place your dimension. And notice on the second click, it highlights the size that's there, which means we can simply type 200. That's the size that I want you to make this at. Press enter, and it'll adjust your model. It'll adjust your sketch to suit. Now move your cursor. We still select it on the dimension tool. Uh, move your cursor to the short edge. Click once, move over, click again. And we're going to make this 70. Press enter, and there you go, it adjusted our rectangle. For now, that sketch is finished, so we can tick, we can click that 
tick. Now we're going to go back to a normal 3D view. There's two ways we could do that. We could view, click in the corner of the view cube or use the down arrow under this little box and go to trimetric. I'm going to zoom back as well. Now we're looking for the extrude tool. It's usually right next to the sketch tool. Make sure it says extrude and click it. We get this dialog. It's asking, see the blue box tells you what we need. Uh, what sketch regions do you want to extrude? So you simply click on the shape that you just drew. So click once and it gives you a preview. So down here it's saying, yeah, we're gonna make a new shape using sketch one. Uh, for now, don't worry about that dialog and the depth is 25, but we're gonna change that. So simply click on it to 18, press enter. It'll give you a preview and that's good when it's all good, tick. Uh, if I hit the X, I can cancel and I can start again. Now, if you make a mistake, uh, there's an undo button here, so we can go backwards uh, and you know do things again. Now, I, I hold down Shift and Alt on my keyboard, middle mouse button, and I orbit around. So I'm going to look at the back face. So hopefully you saw the end. You know, I could have clicked the view cube to get the same thing. So if I had to click that corner, it'll bring it into the back face. I'll just zoom back a bit. Uh, and we're going to create a new sketch. So we're going to sketch. Again, it's asking us, where do you want to draw this sketch? This time, we're going to draw it on that back face. So notice that it highlights orange. Once it's highlighting the correct thing, then you click, and there you go. It creates that sketch uh, plane. And we're going to do the same as before. Right click and view normal to sketch plane. And it'll bring around like that. We're going to look for the rectangle tool again. So click once. This time, we're going to draw a rectangle that starts right in the corner. So hover your mouse until you get that little square to indicate that we're starting in a corner. Click once, and then we're going to move our cursor down to this bottom edge. So size doesn't matter for now. We can adjust it later. So make sure it highlights that bottom edge and click again to finish the rectangle. We're going to look for the dimension tool again and click it. We're going to select the short top edge of that new rectangle. So it highlights orange, click once, move the cursor up, click again, and we're going to change this to 18. And press enter. There you go, it adjusted our rectangle. So we finished that sketch for now, so we can tick that. And there they are, there's the things that we've done before so far in our timeline. You can see them there. First sketch, then the extrude, then the second sketch. We're going to do an extrude again, but let's go back to a 3D view so we can get an idea of what it's going to look like. So I'm just going to, this time I'm going to click one of the corners in the view cube. I'll just zoom back a bit and move that up there. So we're looking for the extrude tool again. So extrude, asking us what do we want to extrude. So this time, we want to extrude that new little rectangle that we drew. Be careful where you, uh, where you hover. Make sure you're selecting that new little rectangle. If you click in the wrong place, you're going to extrude the wrong thing. So uh, make sure it's highlighting the correct. And then click. And it gives you a preview, and it's moving that out. That's actually not what we want. So. Back here to the dialog, this time we want to do a remove, but we don't want it to remove 25 millimeters of stuff. We want it to remove 12 millimeters. So let's change that to 12, click enter, gives us a preview. And there you can see that rebate. That's kind of what we do in the classroom when we're making this out of timber. We start with a solid uh, block of timber, then we cut away what we don't want. 
It's exactly what we're doing in this program. And once it's correct, tick. And I'm going to go back to the original view. So let's go to trimetric, zoom it backwards. And there you can see we've done half of our drawing already. Actually, I was probably a little bit uh, quick in going back to that view. I'm going to orbit this. So control and alt on the keyboard, middle mouse, and let's move it around so we can see that new rebate that we just drew. And we're going to do an extrude again. So this extrude button here, again, it's asking us what do we want to extrude. So we're going to click on that little surface here. You can see it highlighting. And it wants to add material, but we actually don't want it to add. We don't want to remove. We want to create a new shape. So this time we click new. And we know we've got a new because it's giving us a second part down here. And it should be in a new color. Uh, the depth is going to be 200. Press enter. Uh, before I tick, I'm just going to come back to the original view there. That's what it's going to look like. So you can see how the, the, the piece fits together. And tick. And there we go. We've drawn a rebate joint with another piece attached into it. To make it look like the drawing that I showed you right at the start, we're just going to edit that last extrusion we, that we did. For me, it's extrusion number three. So to edit, if you double click, it'll open this dialog again. And we're going to, we've got this option down here that says second end position. So click on that. And it tries to draw this extra bit this way, but that's going the wrong direction. We want it to go in the opposite direction. So there's a little arrow here next to where it says blind underneath that new tick that we just put in. Click that. And it will actually shorten that piece by 25 millimeters. And that will do. We don't need to change that size and tick. And there we go. We've just drawn a rebate joint exactly like uh, that first image that I showed you. So that's it. Uh, make sure you've shared it. If you haven't done so already, do it now. Share it to me. Uh, like I showed you at the start of this video. And remember, there's always the undo button. If things don't work, undo, recheck the video, and try again.